When I survey the wondrous cross, this is a song that I'll hold so dear to my heart. And when I get to think and to contemplate and even meditate upon the words of the song, nothing springs out to me like the love of Christ. There is nothing that is more soothing than knowing that even when the world turns its back on you, there is someone who is ever ready to embrace you. When I think of the love of Christ and nothing springs to me, like the sacrifice that was made on Calvary. And thus I love the verse that is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 23, that says, You were bought at a price. Do not become slaves to men. With that, I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Allow me to begin this short message with a narrative. A boy wanted to purchase a puppy. And upon him wanting to purchase a puppy, he goes on to the store and he is shown a different types of dogs. And as he looks at all these different types of dogs, he's even asking for prices. And as he's moving along, he sees a dog that is limping. And when he sees this dog, he asks the owner, how much is this dog? The owner says, but this one is limping. How about you take this young, fresh one that is energetic that you can play with? He says, I do not want that one. He says, how about you take this one? I know it to be a very good breed that you can raise for yourself. He says, I do not want that one. He says, how much is this one that is limping? The owner says, listen, um, because no one wants to purchase this dog, I would be willing to give it to you for free. He says, I do not want it for free. I want to purchase it. Then the owner just puts a price tag and he says, you can purchase it for 200 rand. So the boy takes out the 200 rand note and he gives it to the, owner, to, the, to the store owner. And then he takes the dog. The shop owner is surprised and is shocked. Why would you purchase a dog that is limping? And the boy then pulls down his pants and he shows the owner that he had hip replacement surgery. And he says, you see, because I too am and have been limping, I know how much care I need to show to this dog. I know exactly how much love and attention this dog will need. And just as similar to our Christ, because he knows what we have gone through, because he knows what we are going through, he says that I have attached some great value in you. It does not matter how much you are limping. It does not matter how much you have been broken. It does not matter how much you are messed up. For the fact that God has placed value on your life, he says that I know how much care, how much love, how much attention you need. And it also says to us that when sin deemed us worthy of the purchase of redemption, Christ saw our value in the midst of our disability. You see, I always say to people that what people see and what God knows are two different things. Because even when you enter into the potter's house, what you see and what the potter knows are two different things. Because you will see a room that is dirty. You will see a room that is dark. You will see a room that is messed up. You will see a room that is filled with so many unnecessary things. But when the porter steps into the house, he is able to see the worth and the value of everything that is in there. It does not matter the clay that has been splattered across the wall. It does not matter the, 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 the clay that has fallen to the ground, but he is able to take each and every piece, put it together and make a beautiful vase. And thus is the love of Christ as well, that when people do not see our worth, he looks at our value. When people think that we are valueless, he knows how much we are worth because we were worth dying for. If ever people would want to make you feel as if you are not worth anything, remember that the cross of Calvary says you were worth dying for. And after the purchase, 
uh, the boy was able to go home with the puppy. The puppy was then happy because it found someone to love it, someone to care for it, someone to give it attention. And thus, even with our Lord and our Savior, when people are quick to turn their backs against us, he is ready to embrace us, just like the prodigal son. When the act that he committed was worthy of him being stoned to death, the father did not think about where he comes from, but he thought about embracing and loving him because he did not see the father but the father saw him he did not run after the father but the father ran after him he did not embrace the father but instead the father embraced him because that is the love of a parent of our loving savior of our loving father who is able to see us from afar and says that what matters is that you have come home what matters is that i know that you are valuable to me. So today, as we welcome the Sabbath, I want to say to you that you have had a long week. I do not know what you have been through. I do not know what you are going through. And I do not know what may be stressing you or trying to pull you down. But just remember that we have a loving Savior who said that I have purchased you and you are too valuable to me for me to let you down. At the right time, I love what Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 says. It says, when the fullness of time had come. So until the fullness of time had come, uh, has come, do not belittle yourself. Until the fullness of time have, has come, do not underestimate yourself. Until the fullness of time had come, do not allow people to make you feel as if you are less than. Because the love of Christ says that you are valuable beyond measure. I want to leave you with a quote from a song uh, by Bill Gaither that says, I love you. I love you. That's what Calvary said. I love you. I love you. Written in red. The blood of Jesus that was red. That said to you, I love you more than you can think. May you be blessed today. For this we pray in the name and in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen.